Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. Look, I, I just want to announce that the fact that uh, New York City Tax and Museum Commission, um, they're going to have this uh, portal up and running on March 15. Uh, you remember I uploaded a video um, in the beginning of this year uh, because the fact that uh, TLC had announced back in November in 2022 that they're going to uh, be issuing 1,000 plate, uh, 600 uh, all going to be uh, be for uh, individual drivers, right? Uh, existing drivers that lease vehicles, they have this opportunity for them to apply for 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 higher vehicle permit license. And these licenses, they strictly and they strictly for uh, electric vehicles, right? And they're gonna be and this six hundred, like I mentioned in my video, the a restricted license place. That means you cannot transfer it, right? Um, no, you could sell it, but I know some people have a way of doing things illegally. Um, and obviously that's not the way that things are supposed to be done because eventually you would get caught if you're doing something illegal, right? But this plate, what I mentioned about illegal, because some of the guys that they have already some of the plates and for some reason, uh, they're no longer drivers and they wind up with this plate. So what they do is they sell it to someone else, although the plate's still on their name, but the license plate is on someone else's vehicle and that it's illegal. You cannot sell the plate. You cannot transfer it because it's a restricted plate, right? That's why the 600 plate are offered to individual drivers. Um, and the other 400, they're going to be offered to fleet and any individual drivers that runs um, like uh, multiple cars with the taxi and limousine commission, then some of the guys are also allowed to apply from one to 25 and there's four, from, from one plate to 25 plate and up to 400 of these plates, they're gonna be, um, it, uh, they're gonna be offered to fleet, right? Um, but the other 600, like I mentioned, uh, they uh, offer to uh, existing drivers that lease cars, right? If you, one of the drivers that already have an existing for hire vehicle license and it's active and you have plate that is active on license plate, you're not actually eligible for this uh, plate, right? And these plates are strictly for EV vehicles. That means you have to I say EV vehicle because it's an EV vehicle, right? Um, uh, mm -hmm. So, so basically, you would have to once once this portal is going to be up and running on March 15th. That's why I'm uploading this video, guys, for you to be able to uh, keep you know keep your eyes open on March 15th. Once the portal is up, what TLC wants you to do in the beginning of this process, this application, you have to submit um, a statement of interest, right? Um, the statement of interest is going to be submitted through the portal. Like I said, uh, uh, Tax and Museum Commission, they have to review it to make sure uh, that you're eligible driver. And in order for you to apply, you would have, like I said, you have to have that taxi, valid uh, New York City Taxi Limousine Commission license, right? And also you need to have valid social security on your name. And also you you would have to submit this application. And also once, once this application is approved, uh, you would get, uh, and also you need to have valid the uh, email address. That's important. So once, once they, TLC goes to the review of your statement of, of interest, you will get in, uh, in touch by the TLC where they're going to send you an eligible code for you to apply for, for your license. And they're giving you 120 days, you know, the, for, for you to buy this electric vehicle, right? And also, uh, once you buy the vehicle, uh, the application also for the vehicle has to be uh, approved also at the same time. And in order for you to submit that application, um, you know, to get your uh, vehicle, for high vehicle license, you will need to get um, a um, statement on what you need to get a, a base letter, you know, from any base, you know, you could be working for any, but you could, if you work for Uber, Lyft, or you work for any other apps that I mentioned before, like Mile or Drivers Cooperative, or you even work for just a regular base car service, they will provide you with base letters so that has to be submitted, you know, with your application in, a, in order for your application also to be approved. So the statement of interest, the application itself, which is the beginning of this process, they all need to be approved, right? Um, and once they approve, uh, once the when they finalize your application, that's when uh, you you be sent. The, you, well, TLC gonna send you like an eligible code for you to 
to apply for to actually start you know looking to buy an electric vehicle like like i said guys you don't need to go buy a new vehicle buy a vehicle 2015 and it was something that it's actually going to get you through the process to get you played because you don't want to be dumping so much money to get your uh this for high vehicle once you once you actually be able to get displayed, you know, and even if you don't have um, really um, car that, that some electric car that you built and you, it might not be something that is desirable for you, you can always switch it at a later time. Uh, all you have to do is do the transfer, right? Um, so transfer is another process, which is easy. It's not a big deal. And once you, you buy the vehicle, your place, uh, application get approved, you have 60 days for you to pass that TLC inspection. Uh, so guys, um, I just wanted to let you know, and, and this is strictly for, for, uh, for existing drivers that, that never had a four hire vehicle permit in the past. So if you do have a for hire vehicle permit and it's active, it's on your name, that means there's no, there's no, uh, th there's no reason for you. There's no sense for you to submit your application because you're going to be, um, they're going to decline your application, right? Um, and also one, even if you submit the, you submit a statement of transaction, um, and, and the TLC, they have to go through your record, you know, to make sure that you save driver with New York City Taxi Limousine Commission and you've been driving for them for some times, you know. So this is almost like a lottery and they, they go based on your record also with the Taxi Limousine Commission as New York City Taxi licensed, but uh, as New York City Taxi licensed driver, right? So so this driver, this, 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 uh, licenses for high vehicle permit is strictly for people that never really had for high vehicle permit in the past and i mentioned this in my video last time so guys um, um i'm gonna keep you posted i'm gonna link i'm gonna link one of the link for the taxi and missing commission review in my description below um keep checking it because at this point it says that the content it's not and uh, uh, there's no contact at this point on the portal right so they still eventually they're gonna have it up and running by march 15. So guys, make sure that you don't have you're not you're not a, an active for high vehicle permit uh, holder with the Taxi and Limousine Commission and these six hundred licenses six hundred uh, plate they're gonna be strictly for people that don't have for high vehicle permit and they uh, they existing drivers and they were leasing cars before. So um, guys, I hope this information helped you a little bit. Hopefully, you guys be picked from this. Uh, um, a list uh, of the statement of the statement of interest and once the once you get it approved you you uh, TLC will get in touch with you in order for you to start the process of your application um, I hope you guys uh, this information helped you a little bit um, you guys stay safe um, uh, enjoy the rest of your evening or day wherever you are and I'll talk to you soon all right guys thanks for watching my videos bye